Hey, hey, everybody. <clears throat> it's Wednesday, and we're live. Welcome back. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Make sure you hit that red button and subscribe. And you can also hit that bell to get notified of all my latest videos. I just uploaded last week's live to YouTube because for some reason it's not letting me go live on YouTube again. <clears throat> so I'm not sure what that's about. So we're just going live over here on Instagram, but you can still watch the videos on YouTube once they go up over there. So we've got an all black moment happening tonight. I did post a couple of things to my stories. So you can go and check that out. That was a continuation of Sunday's try on. And we're going to get right into today's video because I'm a couple minutes late. And I think we're going to watch a movie tonight. We've been catching up on some movies. But I've got this big package from Shop Glamour and Grace. So I'm going to go ahead and tag them in this video. So that way when it posts, they can see it as well. And this is perfect timing because G&G &G usually releases new collections on Wednesdays. So they just, as far as I know, a new collection is going to be online only. So you have to have their app or shop their website, which you can conveniently do from the link in my bio. So I'm hooking you guys up this week. You can get first dibs to that online exclusive collection if you follow the link in my bio. This is a big, <clears throat> big haul. All things that I believe I'm going to be able to wear to work. So, I'm going to, hopefully, I'm going to run and grab a pair of jeans really fast that I can use to show some of the pieces with. And then I just have like a black sweater vest tank on, which is perfect for fall. So, I'm going to run and grab a pair of jeans, and then I'll be right back. So, make sure you guys get something to eat, get a little snack. Alright, this will be perfect because I actually grabbed a pair of jeans that I got in my last G&G haul, which are these adorable can-can jeans that have like a whole bunch of distressing. They are perfect for fall. Hello, thank you so much for joining. We're going to do a Glamour and Grace haul tonight. And for reference, I'm wearing the size 9 in these jeans. So when I put them on, they're a size 9, but I love the distressing on them. I've actually never worn them because they're perfect for fall. And some of the pieces that I have in this Paul, um, actually she styles with these exact jeans on the website. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. I'm gonna wait. So I'm going to show you guys all the pieces first and then we'll try it on. So first we have this sweater vest, which I purposefully sized up in. I got the oversized because I wanted this amount of length. So we're going to look at the length together. This is the Something Good sweater vest dress. Well, it's actually a sweater vest, so I bought it big. I bought the size large because I wanted to put it, like, over a turtleneck and have it be long enough. I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to have the perfect amount of length to do what I wanted to do with it. So I can't wait to try it on and show you guys what I'm thinking with this. But we got that sweater vest, and it is, like, a dark brown kind of a coffee color. Um, it looks gray in some of the online pictures, and I actually had to ask her and clarify, but it is like a dark brown coffee color. <clears throat> and then, because I don't know why I do these things to myself, I actually got another sweater vest. This one is more of like a houndstooth material. This is the, or pattern, Down in Flames. I'm noticing that Grace uses a lot of Taylor Swift lyrics as, um, names for her clothes, which I absolutely love. So this one is very, very similar to some other sweater vests that I have. Actually, I have like one that is this camel color and then it's got like blues and greens in it. And then I have like one that's very similar to the something good that's like a camel color, but I love the sweater vest trend. I think it's so cute. It's so preppy. And I love just throwing on like something like what I have on now, like a mock neck underneath of it. And it's a good transition piece or in the like winter you could put like an actual turtleneck sweater or another sweater underneath and like double up your sweaters and it's so cute and this sweater the down in flames sweater vest she actually has styled with those black jeans that i showed you guys so i'm gonna try and do it the same way 
Um, and now that I have both pieces, I can do that. All right, and then we got, this is the good, good feeling cut out top. So this is a nice little date night top. I'm hoping that it doesn't show too much like boobs right here and that we can wear this to work because I think it's so cute, especially for like parent teacher conferences or like meetings, back to school nights, stuff like that. But either way, it's really cute for like date night or just going out to a bar or something. It is, has a stretchy material, it's ribbed. So I'm really looking forward to this little top for fall as well. All right, next we're gonna shack it, which I love. It does have like a corduroy material, it's got like a suede. This is the unconditionally Aztec shack it. And this one, I got for $25, you guys. $25. It was regular, regular price, $62.99. And I snagged it for $25. So I got this on sale in one of the Facebook VIP group thread sales. And I had had my eye on it for a really long time, but it does have like a really cool Aztec print on the sleeves. It's like burgundy, gray, black, brown, and it does have almost that quilted sleeve. So it's gonna add a little bit of extra warmth. It has pockets and the buttons. So this one is very nice, very high quality. It is like an actual jacket, not so much a shirt. Oh yes, I forgot about this. <gasps> This little hoodie. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so then I got, as I said, it's this little hoodie. And it has like a terry cloth almost material on the inside. And this is, these are all different textures. This is almost not fully waffle knit, but it's one texture. And then this, the green, is like a waffle knit. And then the white is just like a regular knit. So it's got three different textures, three different colors. It has drawstrings. This is just really, really cute. This gave me, like, I saw this being, like, a really cute little, like, just throw it on and go, like, Friday hoodie. I actually just got a tank top that's almost this exact same color, but it might look cute layered underneath. Um, so just, like, a little grab it and go, throw it on. Definitely just like lounge wear for chilling around the house because it's very light and comfy. Thank you all so much for joining. Welcome. We're doing a Glamour and Grace Boutique haul tonight. First, I'm just showing you guys everything that I got. We're doing like an unboxing portion first. I'm taking everything out of the package and then we're going to try everything on. Here's my packing slip. Always get that. And I do keep track just in case anybody wants to know. I have a notebook that I keep track of everything that I get. Hey, Mandy. Thanks for joining. Um, I keep track of everything that I buy from all the boutiques. So that way when I tag it in photos, I can go back and say this is the whatever it is. This is the story of us. Contrast hoodie. Again, guys, with the Taylor Swift lyrics, I'm telling you. This is a good prelude to some upcoming Wednesday Night Live. So I'll just give you that little hint, that little teaser here. And I just pitched some ideas to my fabulous co-star, uh, Jay Dutt 05. She's going to be coming back here on the page in the next couple of weeks. We've got some, we've got lots to talk about because it's been a minute since we did a Tay Talk. So that'll give you an idea of what's coming in some upcoming Wednesday Night Lives. But I keep track of everything that I buy because I want to be able to get the names of it for you guys. I know I buy a lot of my stuff on sale, but there is a chance that some of it is still available in limited sizes. So if it is, when I tag it in the post, I make sure to tag the name of it, tag the product, and then tell you how many are left. All right, this was the last thing. And you guys, I really did not need this item because I have so many sweater dresses I have so many sweaters, period. And this is the Mixed Emotions Color Block Sweater Dress. You guys, I got this for $19. $19. It was regularly $56.99. I got it on sale from the thread sale, from that sale tab, the app and website. It is a great, it's a free app. Scroll this sale tab. You can get some great deals. I absolutely love the colors of this. This is so fall. This is a perfect transition piece. Like on those, like, chilly 
nights. If you're like just going to dinner or whatever, don't really want to wear a coat, you just throw, like I can wear this to work, so I don't have to wear a sweater in the morning, and then I can wear it to dinner. It is so nice, it's great length. This is perfect for all of my teacher friends out there. And it's great for the mamas too. We're gonna look and see how everything is bump friendly. So this edition of Glamour and Grace Boutique haul is all teacher looks and things that I can wear to work. Now I will say, with exception of the jeans, the jeans that I'm gonna be modeling tonight are from Glamour and Grace Boutique. I'm gonna show you guys those again. I showed them at the beginning of the video. They are a can-can jean. They are the Ellie high rise jean. And these were, I also got, I snagged these on sale too. I am not ashamed to admit that I shop a lot of stuff on sale. That's how I get a lot of my clothes is on sale from the sale tab and the sale racks and the thread sales. If you're in the Facebook group or want to be a member of the Facebook group, you can just comment on this video and I will be glad to add you and send you the links for all of that. Cause they do, she does thread sales quite a bit where she posts things not to the web, like that are, she posts sales that aren't necessarily on the app or website. So if you want to join that group, it's open to anyone um, in the U S and you, anybody who has a valid Facebook page. So it's pretty cool. And these are the Ellie high rise jeans. Now these do have distressing in them right here in the knees. And just because the sheer, like I love them and are so chic, but because not only are the hems frayed, but the knees and legs are frayed. I would not be able to wear these jeans to work. So with the exception of the jeans, everything else in this haul I could wear to work. And I'm going to show you how I would style it, but I am going to wear those jeans for all of the pieces. And if it's a dress or a sweater vest or something, I'm just going to show you without leggings or tights so you can see the full length. Because I don't want you guys to think that something is longer than what it is. So because of what I'm currently wearing, I do have like this sweater vest top on because that's what I was wearing today. I'm going to show you the shack at first with the jeans. I'm going to show you the houndstooth sweater vest first. That's also going to be one of the first pieces that we look at. And then we're going to also look at this little hoodie. I think for the purposes of this video, because I'm in sweatpants right now and want to delay changing out of them, we're going to go ahead and try the story of us contrast hoodie on first. And I will go ahead and say, for those of you who are new, some of you, this is your first time watching a live. So thank you so much for being here. And um, most of the time in G&G &G stuff, I am a medium. However, I find myself sizing up a lot of the time to get more length, um, to get maybe, especially in a top, if it's a crop top, then I'm going to size up to get more length in it. I'm going to also size up possibly to get more um, room in the sleeves because sometimes sleeves can be a little bit tight. I was a former gymnast or I'm, I am, I should say a former gymnast of 15 wonderful years in a wonderful, beautiful sport. But because of that, I have a lot of old muscles that are still, yes. Don't we love the hooded look? I think so. Yes. I have a lot of old muscles that are still hanging around. Um, and so a lot of the time sleeves are very tight up here in my upper arms and um, I like to have a lot of breathing room in my sleeves. I also am very picky about my sleeves and I like to be able to do this and like pull the sleeves down over my hands because I'm always cold and this is a good like little, I guess you could say it's like a comfort tick. Like I just, I do this with my sleeves a lot because I'm cold a lot and I just like, it's like something that I do to be comfortable. So if I cannot pull the sleeves of something down, I usually end up putting it in the pile to go. But I also like sleeves that can move a lot because I move a lot. I'm a preschool teacher, so I'm, my arms and hands are moving constantly and I need to be able to roll my sleeves up quickly and comfortably without them digging into my skin. So I do have the hood up, don't you guys? I think it's a great look. I did that for um, to show you guys that it, it does have a hood in case you couldn't see it when I unboxed it. It has drawstrings that are um, functional and adjustable. And I like to have fun on these lives, guys. If you can't laugh with me or at me, then that's okay. I can laugh at myself enough. So um, I love this little hoodie, though. It's so light. It's perfect. It's a perfect hoodie for this time right now where it's like cool in the mornings it's cool at night and you just need to like for me I would throw this on over a, a tank like a wide strap tank like what I have on now 
with my jeans and if I have a longer tank on, like I do right now, then I could actually wear this and then if I get hot during the day, I can take it off. But for right now, I mean, it is cropped, so I could not wear this on its own without having like a higher waisted pant, which I have some joggers that I could wear higher waisted. Probably get away with wearing just a regular tank under this, but I still would wear a tank under it. But it's so light, it actually has a lot of flow in the sleeves. And this is gonna be my new go-to, like just throwing, if I'm just laying around the house watching movies, if we're just chilling, if we're, you know, if I wanna sleep in or I get home late from something and I just like, like last night we went and saw Coraline, um, the new remastered version of Coraline in the theaters. It was so fun. But the movie started at 1030. Had I opened this package, I probably would have worn this because it was comfortable, light. I would have been cooler than I was in, the, in what I wore because I wore like my big like what they call the drug rug jackets. And I like it's oversized and it's like I love it. It's one of my favorite sweatshirts, but I was hot. So I would have much rather had something light like this. That I could have worn to that movie because I was a little bit hot and I never get hot especially in movie theaters I'm always cold so I was a little bit shocked but this would have been perfect it's so light like I said it has a little bit of flow and I love the different textures I love the different colors this I like this a lot more than I thought to be completely honest I wasn't 100% sure because of the crop and it has elastic here too which is nice so again, that just adds another level of comfort, but I wasn't 100% sure about how I was gonna like the waviness and like the colors, and I like this a lot more than I thought. So this is the um, Story of Us Contrast Hoodie. Perfect in honor of Speak Now, Taylor's version. How are we feeling about Speak Now, Taylor's version, everyone? Are we loving it? Are we not loving it? How are we feeling? I am a Speak Now fan. Speak Now is not my favorite, but it was for a period of time. Like, I went through a period of time where I would say, oh, Speak Now is my favorite album. However, I think I've said that about every Taylor Swift album, with the exception of 1989, no shame, and Midnight's, no shame, because it's just, it's not my favorite. But, and Folklore and Evermore, I didn't, like, I would not say that they're my favorites either. Um, but I did go through a period where Speak Now was my favorite. And we're going to talk more about that in the weeks to come. So I'm not going to go too much into depth about how I feel about the re-records, but um, some of the songs do hit pretty hard. Like Better Than Revenge, Story of Us. Story of Us I really, really like the re-record of. The Mine one sounds great. Sparks Fly sounds great. From the Vault Tracks are all, they're, they're solid. I wouldn't say that they're her best, but we have to remember that. She was like 19 when she wrote them. So, you know, we're going on a big span of time. Like she's not writing the same stuff now that she wrote back then. So I try and remind myself of that. All right, we're gonna try on the shacket next. This is the Unconditionally Aztec shacket. I'm really excited about this. This is like, it's kind of heavy actually, which means that the quality should be pretty good. I'm sure it is. Everything is always high quality from G and G, I've never been disappointed in anything. Never had anything come that was like damaged in any way or lost in translation. Ooh, and this has a lot of room in it as well. I forgot to mention that I actually sized up in this hoodie. So I started to go on that train and then I got lost in my distraction with the hood. But I actually sized up to the large in this and I'm really glad that I did. Still has a lot of crop for it being the large, but I did get some extra room in the sleeves and that extra like relaxed fit that I was looking for. So I am glad that I sized up. I would recommend sizing up in that Story of Us contrast hoodie. Um, and then we'll look at the, I will show you guys the jeans because I don't think the jeans have been shown in a live before. And then we're gonna look at the shacket, which as you can see, I have paired with this black tank and honestly I love it I think it looks like so chic with these jeans especially this is a really good fall time outfit this gives me all of the pumpkin patch corn maze vibes I'm so excited for fall this is 1000% a fall outfit if you don't want to be like ooh spooky scary skeletons all the time you can still be like 
yes, I'm here, I like fall, I've got my fall colors, but I'm not like, Halloween! This gives me still very spooky fall vibes. Number one thing that I love about this jacket is it's not super itchy. I will admit there is a little bit of an itch in the sleeves. Anytime we have this quilted fabric, you run that risk. Just wear a long, I would just wear a long sleeve turtleneck or a long sleeve shirt underneath it. I actually already own like a burgundy and a brown turtleneck, or I have a brown long sleeve, a burgundy turtleneck, and then I have a tan um, turtleneck from G and G actually. And that's just what I would throw underneath this. So I don't have the itch on the arms. I have lots of room in the sleeves. The buttons are all functional, which is nice. They have like a nice tortoise shell kind of, uh, look to them. So they're like Brown. And then there are also two functional pockets, which is super nice. I throw my phone in these ones. So I would throw my phone in this front pocket. Um, if I don't put it in my jeans, because this one does not have pockets here. So you don't get that full jacket vibe because there's not the pockets here, but that is a okay. Cause it's still a great piece. I love the sizing of it. It's definitely relaxed fit and you have plenty of room to throw a sweater or a sweatshirt or a scarf and a hat underneath of this. Um, I just want to look and see my size. Okay. This is actually a medium, believe that or not. So this is very, very oversized. It's very generously sized. I could have sized down in this and felt comfortable. I have lots of length. I can wear it over leggings. I have a really cute pair of like the razor cut leggings from G&G that this would look really cute with. Also have a pair of leather burgundy leggings that this would look really cute with. I've already gave you guys three outfit ideas for this one jacket, all from Glamour Grace Boutique. You're welcome. And all for like super cheap if you can still get them because some of those pieces were like some of the first pieces that I bought from G&G, which was like going on three years ago, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, and I love the print in this too, but this is a medium, tons of length in the front and the back. And it is very generous and oversized. And even the sleeves, I've got room in the sleeves too. So yeah, I could have definitely sized down in this one. I could have gotten the small and I'm not even sure if there were any smalls left or not. Like if I was, I'm not sure if I was torn between like small and large. I was just like, oh, let me size up instead of sizing down. But I could have, I very well could have definitely could have gone true size with this one. I love like, oh, this is my true size. I'm sorry. This is a medium. This is a medium. I'm wearing my true size and it had I have this much room in it. I could have sized down for sure. I would have been uncomfortable or not liking, not liked the large had I sized up. I think it would have been too big because I do have a lot of room in this, which I love. I would rather have too much room than not enough. Okay, we're gonna stop talking about the size of the jacket now. We're gonna move on to the pounds two sweater vest, um, which is a piece that I have been looking at for a long time, like a really long time. Um, I keep looking at it. I keep saying, no, 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 but they find, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get it because I keep looking at it and I keep thinking about it and I keep thinking about how cute it is and how much I want it. And so we just got it. So this is the down in flames sweater rest. Now let's talk about this, this, the way I have it now, totally cute, totally cute little preppy outfit. Throw it on with some black boots, especially some moto boots. You've got like a little edgy outfit. Throw it on with a hat. Yes. She's so cute. She's giving me all the fall transitional vibes because we've got the ripped jeans, so we're not super hot there. We don't have any long sleeves or anything. Now, if we put a long sleeve shirt underneath of it, now we're full on fall. You can still do the moto boots, still do the hat. You guys following? That's two outfits. And then, you could even wear this in the spring with nothing underneath and you could just have it just the vest. She's so, so soft. You could also pair it with like a gray. These jeans are more of a charcoal gray. You could go with a straight black jean, um, especially a jean that's distressed. You could do just a black slim jean. Uh, you can do 
leggings if you want. It's not leggings approved. It doesn't quite have the length in the back, as you can see. You can see it doesn't quite cover the pockets of these jeans. These are a straight leg jean. But, um, so it doesn't quite meet the requirement for me to wear it with leggings. However, I can wear it to work very easily with jeans. I can wear this underneath if I want a little bit more um, coverage here in the chest. I have that mock neck underneath. You could do like a dicky or some type of like a cropped tank underneath of it that just has the collar sticking out. Um, something like, I don't even know if they make dickies for women, but I was in the whole theater with all the guys having to wear a dicky and it, that's just what came to my head. But you get the idea, like a fake mock neck top that's like cropped. It's a, it's a dicky for women. That's what it is. So anyway, I'm so happy I got this. It is very similar to some other pieces that I have in my closet. However, I'm not going to let that stop me. I think this is very much fall or winter, and it is so cute. It goes great with the jeans. This is actually how she has it paired on the website. So if you search this and these jeans, this is how they're paired together. And then she actually put a black long sleeve shirt underneath it. So, yeah. So I am glad that I purchased it. This I am wearing... I think I'm wearing my true size medium in this. Yes, I am. This is my true size medium also. And again, I mean, we've got bump friendly because we've got tons of stretch. So soft. We've got tons of stretch in the sides too. I could have sized down. Would have been maybe a little bit more form fitting. Still not going to be super cropped or anything like that. It's a normal waist length. And the sleeves are plenty open enough if you wanted to put a thicker sweater on underneath. All right. Now I'm going to show you this top because I do have these jeans on. So we're going to do the good, good feeling cutout top. I'm wearing a regular bra, so we'll just see how much shows of it. That'll be a good test as well. I'm getting so excited for fall, you guys. I love summer, um, but Halloween is my favorite holiday. I talk about that all the time, and I love fall fashion. I absolutely love sweaters, and I am one of those weird people who actually likes wearing jeans, um, especially jeans like what I have on right now. I just, I don't know. I don't know if it's because I think they're stylish or I think they're timeless. I don't know. There, it could be a multitude of reasons. I just, I do. I love that jeans like truly never go out of style. There are so many different types of jeans and reasons to wear jeans, ways that you can wear jeans. Um, and then I love like boots and hats. Like I said, I love sweaters. Absolutely love sweaters. Sweater. It'll be here before we know it. And I'm trying not to wish time away, but also in the current state of how my life is going. If you know, you know, then I'm not, like, I'm not going to be sad when September 25th comes around and hopefully my, oh, great, there is a fire truck outside of my house. That's lovely. Gotta love it. All right, let's take a look at this top. The cutout, honestly, is not super noticeable. You could definitely, you could make it more pronounced if you wanted. Um, if you put like a push-up bra or a water bra or a wonder bra, whatever, on with it, then you could definitely make it a little bit. Sorry, I'm very distracted by what is going on out there. I don't really know what's happening. I'm wondering if maybe I should go and make sure everybody's okay. Um, but yeah, you could definitely like just this up a little bit. You could make this opening a little bit more profound if you want. You can definitely make it not so profound. I honestly feel like I could get away with wearing this top to work. It's not super um, immodest. It's just that little piece of skin right there. It's no different than wearing like really a, like a square neck top. It's not any different. My neck is still covered. Um, my whole chest area is mostly covered. Realistically, I probably wouldn't, but I think you could get away with it. You could especially get away with it in an office setting. Um, and yeah, so we've got a stretchy ribbed material, long sleeves that are full length. 
and I'm wearing my true size medium in this. The good, good feeling top. Yep, medium. Okay, so yeah, and then here's it. Here it is with those jeans. This is cute. I really like the color of this. It's like a mauvey sort of color. It's not super baby pink or like in your face pink. It's more of like a muted blushy mauve color and it's really nice i like it i actually like it more than i thought i was going to it's very soft it's very comfortable and i think this is really cute like i said a really cute date night top and you could definitely like dress it up with some cuter like pants or whatever and it has it's fully covered in the back full coverage in the back with a regular neck but yeah just a cute little like necklace I'm like legit concerned by why there's a fire truck outside my window. Good thing we only have two items left. The next item I'm going to show you is the sweater dress. And let me just check my size real quick. This is the mixed emotions color block sweater dress and the, I actually got a size small in this. So what I'm curious about in this is how tight this is. So we're going to change out of the jeans and we're going to put that sweater dress on. <laughs> Hope everybody's had a good week so far. My week has felt really, really slow. I was not feeling super great on Monday. Oh dear. And I actually like worked from home, did remote. We don't have students in our building on Monday, which is really nice. We get like a nice planning prep day. Um, and um, I was just like, I don't know, I had a really bad headache. I think it was either the barometric pressure with the weather or just sinuses or allergies. I'm really not 100% sure, but it's definitely nothing serious, but it was just enough to like knock me on my butt and just, I kind of had to take a nap like in the middle of the day and it was just... All right, here we are. Oh, this is so cute. All right, it's got great length, and don't mind me, I actually did put it on backwards. So this is actually the front, but I don't really think it matters. I think it's the same either way, really. Yeah, it's the exact same. So this is the front, so the black is on this side, and then this is actually the back but it looks the same either way. Nobody would know if I wouldn't have told you. You wouldn't have known. Um, it's very soft, very, very comfortable, has great length. Um, I could get away without wearing tights under this, but I probably would wear tights or leggings because this is definitely like something I would wear in the late fall, like November or December. <clears throat> so definitely a late fall, winter little dress, but it is so comfortable and so cute. I just need a lint roller somehow picked up like it just looks like there's like some little fuzzies on it or something I did just get it out of the package though so it might just be the fabric too but it just needs a little limp rolling but it's really soft it's so so comfortable and I love like this is my size I actually sized down this is the small so if I would have gone with the medium I would have had a ton more extra room so mama's looking to be pregnant or who are pregnant you've got tons of room that way so we're definitely good on that front. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the next one. It's that uh, something good sweater, something good sweater vest. And I want to show you guys what it looks like as a dress. Um, and then I'm going to probably hop off of here because I want to know what's happening and why there is a fire truck across the street. And I'm being nosy and I'm a little bit nervous that something is happening downstairs that I don't know about. So I'm going to, we're going to quickly just try this last piece on. You guys can let me know in the comments what your favorite piece is. And I'll see you guys next week, next Wednesday at nine for the next live. All right. So bear with me. I have a vision for this piece. So this is the size large. I sized up because I wanted to get enough length. Imagine this over leggings. It does have a slit on the side. Now, if I were to belt this, which is how she styles it on the website, then obviously it's going to be a lot shorter. I could wear it with jeans. 
But if I let it go, I'm going to wear it with leggings. It does have a slit on both sides, which is why we're going to do, the, like I said, that's why you do the tights with the leggings. And obviously it's a little bit low cut here, but this is for fall. So you would have a sweater, like a mock neck or a big, thick, chunky sweater on underneath because that's going to hide all of this on the side too. So I really was just looking for the length and it fits what I wanted. It's definitely long enough. I just put um, I put leggings on underneath and we'll be good to go. And then, like I said, you put a turtleneck on, a sweater, and you're good up here. And that's going to take care of the sides also. So it looks like it was an ambulance. It just pulled away. It looks like it's going somewhere else. So I don't know what happened. I hope everybody's okay across the street. We're going to say a prayer for them. Hopefully everybody is fine. Good thing we live really close to a hospital, so it won't take very long for them to get there. So I hope that they make it there and that everything is okay. And yeah. But anyway, cute, 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 cute. We're going to throw it on over a turtleneck. Probably a white turtleneck, honestly, and then like black leggings is what I'm thinking. Or a white turtleneck and just some nude colored tights. Either way, you're going to be good because it does come down to like mid-thigh. So you have no fear of like showing anything underneath. And honestly, if you wanted, you could just wear it this way with tights and belt it. And like you could go with the deep V if you wanted it. It's up to you. But that's not how I intended to style it. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. Just very bare bones basic. And then when I actually wear it and I post about it, it'll look totally different. So this is the before. And then when you guys see this piece again, it'll be the after. All right, everybody, that's all I have tonight. It was just those few items, some great pieces for work, great pieces for all of my teacher friends, and all of these pieces I was lucky enough to snag on sale. So again, you can just comment on this video if you want invited to that VIP group, and I will send you a link via direct message. You do have to have an active Facebook account to join, um, but it's free to join, and you get some awesome steals and deals. You can also shop Glamour and Grace Boutique through the link in my bio. Click on the link in my bio, click shop Glamour and Grace, and then you can shop some of these pieces if they're still in that sale tab. You can shop the whole new online exclusive collections and more. Um, there's probably like a spring sale going on. There might still be the $20 sale tab going on. You're just going to have to check that link. Or you can download the free app, um, and it is a great app. I have a lot of these boutique apps. They're free, and I just go and, like, peruse on there, and it's a fun way to kill some time. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and like I said, I'll see you guys next Wednesday right here at 9 o'clock, and we're going to do something a little bit different next week. Um, we might do... Maybe we'll do a closet switch from summer to fall. Maybe we'll do a live closet sale. Maybe we'll do, maybe we'll have a special guest. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Those are all possibilities, so you'll just have to come back here next Wednesday, 9 o'clock Eastern Time. This one was a little bit shorter than the one last week, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And like I said, if you're watching this on YouTube, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit that red button and subscribe to this video, and make sure you go over to the Instagram page, follow me over there, and you can watch next week's live live as well because if you're watching this video on youtube my next live is about ready to come up so i'll see you guys next week august 23rd um i think it's the 23rd right yeah because today's the 16th next wednesday august 23rd um at 9 p.m eastern time and until then thank you guys so much for watching like i said put in the comments what your favorite piece was and what trend you're most excited for for fall. For me, I would probably say I am most excited to break out my shackets and my sweaters. It's not really a trend per se. Um, I think we're going to see a lot of bright colors this fall, and I think we're going to see a lot of ghosts. Like in the spooky season stuff, it's going to be a lot more ghosts. Last year was a lot of hocus pocus, witches, and I think this year it's going to take a, um, a boo turn. So, um, that is exciting for me because I love ghosties. So that's it for tonight, everybody.
See you next time. Bye-bye.